Welcome to day one of Google's Coachella, by which I mean the I.O. Developer Conference. Definitely doesn't look like the I.O.s we're used to. Those were held in the Moscow and San Francisco. This, obviously, is outdoors, and it's actually kind of a nice change of pace because of that. But that's not why we're here. I want to talk to you about what Google talked about in their keynote today. A lot of things were discussed. Not a lot of them are actually here at the show, but one of the biggest things is the birth of Google's Assistant, which in a lot of ways feels like Google now, except expanded to take over basically the rest of your life. In a nutshell, think of Google Assistant as a new way of talking basically directly to Google. Interestingly, Google show off its assistant in multiple forms, the first of which is Allo, a chat app that Google is creating. You can converse with Assistant by asking it questions. It'll answer you and keep those answers in mind so it can more easily answer follow-ups. It also does play a really big role in Google Home, which is Google's Amazon Echo competitor. It'll basically act as a bridge for your Internet of Things devices, for your search history. It basically just gives you a quick and easy way to interact with all of the devices tied into your Google ecosystem in one shot. Amazon's Echo does a great job of tying into a bunch of different services, but Google Home ties into all of the Google services, from Nest to your accounts to your Google Play Music service. It's all in one place in a single focal point, and that's going to be really compelling. What's also really interesting is that we're seeing Google take on different sort of trends in the tech space with Assistant by itself. So you've got the rise of chatbots. We've seen Facebook and Microsoft go that route as well. Allo is a great response to that. And of course, we have Amazon with its Echo now being directly competed with by Google Home. It's gonna be really interesting to see all of these things come together, and more importantly, see how these things clash with the rest of the ecosystem.